Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Cultist Simulator, uh, specifically the Exile DLC. We're on the run across uh, Europe, basically, by the look of it. We're now in Avignon. Oh, look, we've got a little headquarters marker for that. Wonderful. And we'll sort of just take our bearings. Now, we could travel. I'm not that worried just yet. So while we have traces, we don't necessarily have anyone on us, though. As I can best understand, more than one trace is really bad. But we have Venice as an escape opportunity, potentially. But we don't want to run just yet. Now, we could plan... I don't believe we can use the knife secret again. We already did that once. And that generated these weaknesses to find out about. Um, opportunity purchase a guitar. Oh, how can we... I've risked so much for this pocket fortune, I may as well enjoy its benefits. Hmm, I'm going to do this. I wonder if this consumes it, or this is actually just generating a new uh, toy in our toolbox. It could be either way, to be honest, so I'm going to I'm gonna do that. Hopefully it doesn't consume it, because it seems to have a value of Grail 8. Now, this is the... Uh, Oh, how can I put my wound onto that? It generates lock by the lock and winter. Or knock, sorry. Can be defeated with enough of the appropriate aspect, but I believe that's what this is hinting at. Needs lantern, needs forge, neither of which we have. Um, I mean, there's no lantern and forge in either of those. That's edge. So yeah, we're going to let the raid time out. That was the plan. And as far as communicate, um, I might look at Temptation Defiance because I don't think we've done that before. Oh, hang on. Right. No, no, no. And oh, okay, okay, this is how we do the mission. Yeah, yeah, cool. That's fine. So for the time being, we can't really use communicate. Okay, cool. Just worth double checking where we're at, you know? Okay, so we've come back from the chateau, the caper has failed, and we've generated a trace by failing it, which is unfortunate, but I mean, were we ever going to get off with anything, like, less than a slap on a wrist? We, you know, something had to happen. Oh, Giorgio has a, a down timer as well, which makes sense. I don't suppose we can communicate with the chateau, no. Nah. Which we'll put down here on its own thing. Might pop the traces up there. We'll start to come up with a bit of a system as we go, I think. And this is people looking for me because of the traces, which is a problem. All right, so we've done a uh, recon of Avignon. What is this? Opportunity medical credentials. I could take this opportunity to qualify extremely rapidly as a doctor. Interesting. It, uh, it doesn't have a value. Aspect price, a helping hand. Use an appropriate connection to do it. Um, I believe we'd have to use the employ to make that happen. Which I can't do just yet. Uh, same thing, I'm going to recon Avignon. Uh, unless I want to communicate to Avignon. How does that work again? It looks for potentially other places to go, I think. They find a place of fee, but there's a small risk of traces. Right. See this? Worse, the Reckoners might get there before you. Hmm. We'll, we'll do that just in case. You never know. Maybe we need an option apart from Venice. The search. There's that tingling sensation on the back of my neck. Someone's looking for me. The more traces on the board, the more quickly your pursuers will be able to move against you. That's not good. Reinforcements. Reckoners have evidence that I'm here. They're summoning help to smoke me out. That's also very bad. Do we run? It's a good question. What's happened here? Raised cash hurriedly. Alright, because we sold that. Did we sell a year or a decade? No, we had seven decades. Right, we can only sell one year at a time, right? This is tough. And then this is going to generate a trace. 
onwards, my smuggler contact M. Giorgio has people in Algiers. Okay. We'll put that over. Alright. I think it might be time to run, to be perfectly honest. What am I doing here? I'm drinking my bottle. Well, presuming that my bottle survives me, we might have to run. Relinquish. So how do I get rid of a trace? With assistance. Okay, that's fine. I think, uh, I think we're getting ready to run. I might put... We'll go Venice. Expenses. It's going to cost me a dollar. We'll start it ticking. Departure farewell. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh. Nothing lasts. There's something to be grateful for. Something's been used up and I got a contentment. Wow, it did actually use the bottle. Holy dooly. Man. But we're gonna run, so... Reinforcements. So that cleared that, and look, it deleted all my travel options, my opportunities, and I didn't have any items because I drank that bottle. That's okay. Arrival. Um, we need, we need to make money. So that's got to happen. Plan. And I can't recon. Alright, that's fine. We'll do it like so. Arrival. Orselina keeps a little fish restaurant in the Cana... Canari Canarigio? You know my trouble, she told me last visit. Bacala was always my weakness. I've never tasted it. I'd still be living in the earth, no doubt of that. Okay, cool. So we have a, we have a contact. Now. Now, 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 now. What do we need to do here? Ultimately, I want to be raiding places. And the only way to find said places would be to recon... Well, actually, I need an escape plan first, I would say. Right? Communicate. What can communicating with her do? Arrange an initial meeting. No, we're going to communicate with Venice. Which is how we generate a new place to run to. Alright, we'll just wait. We'll just wait. At the end of each cycle, reckoners... Alright, so the interesting thing is it's not taxing me money, right? So, while I am generating a dollar with a stolen uh, year right now, um, we, we don't have a living cost, which is what you do in the base game. Um, so we've got Vienna unlocked now. Let's pop there. We need to start reconning uh, Venice to find some opportunities. So this is interesting. While we are being chased, the pace that we move at is very different. Now, fingers crossed we don't generate a trace on the back of that. We did. I think maybe you have to. And how do we get rid of that again? Assistance. Jesus, it's no small thing. And to run, we need a dollar anyway, right? So I think we kind of had to do that. But if we can try not to get more than one, that'd be good. What what can I do with a dollar? Sell a band. I can't do anything. Um. All right, let's sit tight on that. But what we'll do is... Uh, I think I want to talk to her. Initial meeting. Alright, this is interesting. 
it's a little bit more tactical about what I'm doing than what I'm used to. Uh, medical credentials. All right, so if I want to employ them. Connection. Ruler. Someone of real power. All right. That's okay. I think we just need to do a lot of recon while the time keeps ticking over. Welcomes. Okay, so that must be how I got the last thing. All right, so she can generate a uh, like a raid. Welcomes me with a huge, fierce hug and listens to my troubles. Of course, I will help. She insists, but it's not easy for me to come uh, to cross the lagoon. Not in my condition. I've eaten too much from the sea. But there is still something that may help me in the vault of Palazzo Dario. The Palazzo is haunted, but not too haunted for us, I think. Now, can we divine from the Palazzo vault, which is exact? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I can't. The problem is, until I send someone, I don't know what sort of I don't know what sort of um, um, elements we're going to come up against, like this, the knife secret. How did I generate that? Because what we really need is more of those. We're going to sit on the plaza for a moment. The one trace is frustrating, but one is better than, absolutely better than two. Um, can I just keep talking to her? Has lit the lamps in your workshop. Oil, not electric. I appreciate the trouble you're taking. Redness? Hockerbold's alchemical substance. Perhaps that's about bringing her what she needs from the raid? If not now, then, then, then. Okay, okay, so we can't just infinitely milk her for it, which, that's fine. Okay, so communication's limited. So right now, seriously, we just need to keep reconning. We could start the run. I'm not interested in it just yet, though. I want to see what else we can get here. Oh, now what is this? An official connection. That is interesting. Payment. Purchase with years. Purchase with years. I'll just put this one in. What is that? Aspect price in years. Stolen lifespan. 10. I don't know what the price is though. Let's just put one. Okay, this is promising. We might be able to buy a connection under the radar as well. Look, moving years without attention, unusual for me. So we're gonna recon Venice some more and that's about it. Official connection. Perfect. Now, if we were to do the medical thing with an official connection, negotiation. That, on this, did it have, hang on. There were two types of connection, I think. Connection ruler and official connection. Okay, so you could hypothetically have a higher tier, which we might've been able to get with this decade. I don't have time to do this the right way. Luckily then, I have the connections to do it the fast way. Okay, cool. Give me a piece of paper saying I'm a doctor. Medical credentials. And good morning to you. Now, is this something that can be carried? It is. All right, so I got to be careful. Um, it's an asset, proof, and worth. It's interesting. This might get me indoors, but it's not going to directly help me in raids, I don't think. Medical credentials. 
location, year, if I put a year in, nothing. Okay. This this is quite mysterious, but with the with that pressure breathing down your neck as well. Oh my god. Um Now what if I relinquish medical credentials? Att attempt to sell an asset for cash. That's cool to know. That might it might end up being that way to be honest. Um at some point later on, if I need to generate money without generating that trace from... Because it seems every time I sell years, I think I'm almost guaranteed to generate a trace. Interesting. Okay, so we're reconning. It's alright, we'll just keep collecting. So, this is cool, you really want to work really hard to stay low-key. Cats. I found a place bristling with excitable cats. 300 seconds, hey? Moth and Grail and Distraction? That's promising. That's promising. Look, we're going to generate a trace by doing the raid, which will put us into two. Like, if we do the raid and fail it. Which is frustrating, but I kind of I kind of want to know what's there. If you follow. Like, the only way to know is by attempting it. So either we do that, or we just keep reconning like crazy. Oh, what's this? Employ the cats? I'll investigate a little bit more closely. This will renew the lifespan of the opportunity in case... That is 100%? 100% what I was looking for. Oh my god, this is a new category. So I'm guessing we can generate a whole bunch of these follower equivalents from the base sort of game, but they all have a big timer on them that we need to be constantly trying to reset and juggle. All right, there we go. That That's the missing part that I was looking for. We're going to continue to recon Venice like crazy. Tranquility is going to go. It's alright, I didn't... I mean, I could have had a use for it, maybe. Alright, what do we got here? An underworld connection. I've been around, and when you get around, you get to know a certain professional. Okay. Um, let's tee that up, because it would be handy to have. And we will pay in years. I think it will still... It looks like it'll just come out as a normal connection anyway. Uh, we're going to continue to recon. I'm going to move this one where I can see it. Because I keep blocking the screen with that thing. Connection Underworld. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my god. Hang on. Holy hell. And it doesn't have a timer on it. That is significant. But I guess we paid a year for it. Oh, I really think... I think we might hit the Palazzo now. Or the Palazzo, sorry. Alright, resource. I'm actually going to put the cat in because that will freeze its, t its timer. And then it'll run through and hopefully we'll see how the caper... Fears. What is this? Grand townhouse opportunity. Price. Four bucks, right? And it's got to be in money. Okay, that's cool. Does that have a timer on it? It does too. This is so different. Like, it's using the same format as the base game, but it is so radically different to the way that the base game plays. Um, what can I do with the Underworld connection? Means. Loca do I have a location, though? No. 
So this thing sort of goes in with my medical credentials, to be honest. They're sort of doing the same thing. Um, uh, we're going to continue to recon Venice. Can I communicate with, like, my underworld connection? I cannot. I don't want to make any more money. I think we're, we're doing okay with one trace for the moment. What's going on here? Intention. Oh, I think I might have resolved the caper. A busy night lies ahead. Ready. Three momentum means success. There'll be complications before that. Okay. Old unhappy far off things. Moths find the light in the dark and so do I. Okay, so... We've triggered a moth reaction, and we have moth aspect with the cat, so perhaps we've actually completed the first phase of this thing. A complication. Needs land and needs forge. Really? That's the exact same as last time. Do I have either? I have knock. I have Moth and I have Edge. I've Knock and Winter. Oh, she's Forge. She's Forge. We'll send Orselina. She should be able to figure it out. Can I employ anything at the moment? Not really. What's Recon brought me? Dawn. It's got Knock and Lantern. Um, 13 seconds, eh? I should be able to employ that Dawn into something. Temptation? Do these have aspects? Defiance, Desire. I'll put the Defiance one up. Thoughts of Fury. We'll see how that goes. I don't, I'm, I'm out of my league on that one, so I don't know what's going on there. Or out of my depth, I suppose. Alright. Restlessness. I mean, it's brimming with... Even though it's a negativeness, a negative debuff, we, we have a lot of cool things in there that could come in handy. Um, Thoughts of Fury, I've got Rage, right? That's cool. Look at that. We're getting a lot of edge aspect, I guess because this is all very sort of violent and dangerous. Um, I wonder if I can reactivate that with plan. No, I can't. Um, relinquish. All right, we'll power through. All right, so we're starting to get a lot of supporting sort of... It is interesting, whereas like in Cult Simulator, the base, it's mostly a lot of, um, a lot of your aspect support, like to be clear, these things like heart and lantern which we're using for the raid it should be pretty obvious at this point you know you, you you want to generate those and put them in slots to supplement the raid usually it's more about manpower in the base game this it seems to be a lot of about personal emotion even connections and that sort of stuff it's quite cool now what is this secluded villa eight eight price now the hope is my my kind of expectation is can I reset those with no I don't think so my expectation is that when we complete this raid we will get a shitload of wealth probably like four bucks or something so hopefully we can employ that in some way the wheel turns okay every time that clicks over there's a chance that the trace is going to give me away complication holy shit really Edge and Winter of Eight. Well, I... It is Edge. 
I've got edge. I've got edge eight. Um, the only thing I can think of is like the rage. If I put that in, will it take it? Even though that's not enough to... I kind of want to maintain the rage, you know? That's not any of them. Hmm. No, you know what? I shouldn't piss fart around because we are on the clock. I'm going to use the underworld connection. I've used force. Violence as a solution. Shit. I've generated a trace while I'm reconning. A connection with a holy man. Okay. Yes. Can I pay with money? No, it's got to be years. God damn it. That's going to make life hard. From, from the description, once you hit two, it's bad. The foe himself can appear once they're at least five. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So maybe the real danger comes at five, but it snowballs. Dread. Holy man. What's the go with him? Lantern and heart. Well, I can sell my connection. Provoke my connections. If I arrange a public rift with this contact, I might gain radical connections instead. Or I might just annoy my current contacts. This will usually work, but sometimes fail and leave you with no connections and a trace. Oh, okay, so you can sort of try and leverage your connection. That's kind of cool. Plan. What can I do with this guy? I have no venue. All right, we're doing all right. We're generating away. I really need money. I've got so many things like villas and townhouses that I could buy, but no, we're really waiting for that to tick over. Come on. Oh, for Christ's sake. Faith? I've passed a place of worship. Okay, that's handy. That's like the cats, to be honest. But it's going to generate another trace. Oh, man. Starting to snowball. Can I leverage the faith? That should reset it, right? This will renew the lifespan of the opportunity. All right. That's fine. Here comes another trace. Too many traces. All right, so we're drawing attention now. Come on, tick over. I want to know what's in the vault. A final complication. Yeah, right. It said three momentum, so this will be the last. Jesus Christ. A heavy vault door with an impressive lock. So we need knock and forge. All right, I've got six forge by the look of it. And six knock. Um, lantern. Oh, come on, game. Don't do it to me. I'm so close. Knock. I can use my wound for knock. All wounds are doors. Ten knock. Nice. Good thing I didn't fix that, that cut on me hand, eh? God damn it with these traces. Is it because, like, have I have I reached a, a limit with my recon? It's like every recon's generating a knock now. 
purchase a profane weapon. How much? A dollar. Let's recon some more. Always a small risk. Okay, so I think I've just had some bad runs on the last couple of... You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to burn my holy man connection. Oh, actually, can I... I use... So you can use those connections. Or other advantages. That's interesting. There's hope yet. I'm going to attempt... I'm going to do this to this holy man connection. See what comes of it. Because I think we're going to have to flee shortly. What happens when that ticks through? Reinforcements. It might be just like the police investigators in the base thing. Oh, Chapel of St. Mark of the Hammer. The chivalric Ordine, Ordine de San Marco. Oh, I want to read that. Was formally dissolved a century or so ago, but that didn't stop their more determined members from meeting in secret, continuing their less Christian rituals and selling their services to the practitioners of the invisible arts. Their chapel is open to anyone they like enough and we've always got on. Oh, we've always got on. Okay, cool. So, this might be more like a Moorlands. Can I travel to there? Purpose. A knife secret, perhaps. Visit a brazen shrine. The linesmith shrines are bright with the scent of hot brass and rank with the scent of big cats. I can learn more of the battle techniques of the edge here. All right, this is cool. This is a different type of location again. So we're starting to really flesh out. Man, I really want to open that door, but I guess we might leave that on the next episode. I know, a bit of a cliffhanger, but if I don't stop now, I'll never stop anyway. Guys, I love this game so much, and I'm glad that that first episode was fairly well received, but that could well be people just being curious about the DLC. So we'll see how this goes. And hopefully we can turn this into a little bit of a playthrough. And that'd be wonderful because I live for this game. Alright guys, we might just leave it there for the time being and I will catch you on the next one.